Hello. So, I got some bad news. Good news and bad news. I know that's a weird way to start off a weight loss video or workout video or whatever you want to call this, but I have good news and bad news. I'm going to assume y'all want to hear the bad news first. <sighs> so the bad news is that I'm human. I'm human, all right? Today, out of nowhere, out of nowhere, I was craving vanilla ice cream and apple pie. It was just, it hit me like a pregnancy craving. And for those of you who have kids or has been around someone who has kids and will, was around them when they were pregnant, you understand the strength, the sheer strength of a real craving. I had this craving for hours. I'm talking, I had the craving and I thought at first that just meant I wanted something sweet. So I went and ate something healthy but a little sweet, a little on the sweet side. And it didn't kick the craving. So I fought it. I drank water. I tried to tell myself, you don't really want this. You're just, your body's just, you know, trying to suck you back into its old ways. I mean, I was just thinking some crazy stuff. But this battle with temptation one for temptation, zero for Karen. I gave in, and I don't want to say gave in. I don't want you guys to think I'm upset that I had van uh, vanilla ice cream and apple pie. I'm not upset because if the goal of this journey w was were to be perfect, I wouldn't, no one would make it because like I said at the beginning, we're all human. But I did everything that I could do to resist the temptation of the apple pie and the ice cream but i lost so i went full disclosure because i'm a very transparent person i went to mcdonald's and i got a vanilla ice cream cone and an apple pie little pack thingy i brought it home i dunked the ice cream from the cone into a bowl threw the cone away i scooped the syrupy apple stuff out of the inside of the pie and put the actual shell of the pie in with the ice cream and I murked it. It was so good. <laughs> but that's my first time having like really bad sweet stuff. So I gave myself that because I'm human and y'all know I'm not perfect. I don't I don't work out and, and claim to be perfect and claim to have the perfect diet. No. Was that vegan? Because I'm trying to be plant-based. No, that wasn't vegan because it was ice cream. Full fat. It's McDonald's. Full fat ice cream. No, it wasn't, it wasn't vegan. It wasn't healthy. It wasn't any of that. But I allowed myself to have it. And I'm not sorry for it. If y'all expect me to be perfect or y'all think y'all are perfect, then we can't talk. Because I don't know any, any perfect people. The good news, along with that bad news is that I just allowed Sean T to beat me up. I just worked out with my husband. Not Sean T, my actual husband. <laughs> I just worked out with my husband and we did T25 cardio in the garage just now. And it was awesome. 25 solid minutes of some really, if you've never done T25, it's not easy. I know you think to yourself, oh, it's just 25 minutes. It's not that bad, no. It's, it's, it's hard and that's a good thing. So we did T25 cardio and I am pretty sweaty, if you can't tell. And I've been drinking water today, it's over there. And that's that. I broke down to temptation today. It's the first time in a pretty long time where I've allowed myself to partake in something that I knew was outside of my, and I hate using the word diet, but for lack of a better term, allowing myself to partake in something that I knew was outside of my diet or my my plan for my nutrition during the day. But I don't feel bad about it. I'm not one of those people who beat themselves up if they have something that they usually wouldn't have or they're trying to stop eating. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because 
it was one treat one treat and it was amazing I it would it was mm, it was good <laughs> but off of the topic of me eating ice cream and apple pie like I'm a starved cave woman I had a good day I ate well today I had pasta and tomato sauce which was actually really good. I added some chili flakes to it, some red chili pepper flakes. It was amazing. I didn't tell my husband that I added chili flakes and he gave some to the boys <laughs> and they wouldn't eat it because it was spicy, but you know, I didn't tell them that I put that stuff in there. And I've been drinking water and what else did I have today? For breakfast I had, um, cause you know, I don't eat anything until about 1230 uh, cause I do intermediate fasting. So I had tea at like eight. I had a cup of tea and Paul Darko. I think I'm I think I'm saying that right. Paul, Dar Paul Darko tea. Yeah, but I had that about nine ounces for breakfast. And then I didn't take my vitamins today, completely forgot. I'll do that tomorrow. And I had um the lunch, which was really my first meal, was the, the pasta and tomato sauce. And then for dinner, I had 15 bean soup, which was amazing. Homemade, by the way. 15 bean soup is pretty freaking awesome. And all throughout the day, I've been drinking water. And I haven't really had anything outside of uh, anything bad outside of that apple pie and uh, ice cream. So for those of you who are dealing with a craving, I'm not saying go out and scarf your face with every thing that you've been craving for the entire time you've been on your journey. Karen didn't say that, don't go do that. What I'm saying is that we should not get in the habit of denying ourselves every single thing because then this lifestyle change that we're trying to make is going to become that much more difficult. If you have been doing what you need to do, and I'm going to say this slowly to make sure you get what I'm saying. If you have been doing what you need to do to reach your goals, there is nothing wrong with allowing yourself one treat, one treat in a congratulatory, a self-congratulatory way. I don't say anything wrong with it. If you disagree, please let me know, post a comment, post a, a cross argument video, tag me in it, I don't care. But I don't think there's anything wrong with busting your butt for a month, two months, three months, however long you've been on your journey. A week, I don't care. And then allowing yourself one treat. Now, if that one treat is going to take you way off the scale and you're going to start having cheat days instead of cheat meals and then you've completely thrown yourself off of your, off of your course, then yeah, maybe you shouldn't do it. But if you're able to, to have that one treat and then stop, don't deny yourself that one treat because then the fun, the excitement, the, the gratitude, the, the gratification you get from this journey is going to be lost because you're being so strict on yourself. You're not perfect. Let me, if no one has ever told you that, let me tell you, you're not perfect. You're going to screw up. So allow yourself to have that treat, to have that moment, and don't beat yourself up about it. We're all human. We're all human. And if you're not... Just pretend like I don't know you because <laughs> cause I'm not I'm not with all that extraterrestrial stuff. But we're all human. And give yourself realistic expectations. And if if you break away for one second, don't beat yourself up. Because you're gonna have a hard time coming back from beating yourself up because we're all our own worst critics. So yep, that was my day. And I'll do, maybe I'll do another video about cheat meals and cheat days and how I handle those. Because those of you who have been hanging around for the time I've been doing my workout journey and my weight loss journey, you know I don't believe in cheat days. I believe in cheat meals. So don't cheat the whole day because one whole day of cheating will throw you back a month. Cheat one meal. Have one, one meal where you have a burger and fries instead of having a burger and fries for lunch and then a 22 ounce steak for dinner and ice cream and desserts and all that stuff have a cheap meal instead of cheat it anyway that's a whole nother video but i'm about to go i hope you guys are getting your workouts in and enjoying your time and as always don't procrastinate don't quit and let's get it